Think of war as the world's worst ever game of Marco Polo. One side yells, the other listens, and whoever tags the other first wins. For 70 years that game has bounced back and forth across radio waves, radar shouting, Marco. Stealth skins mumbling a reply. Jammers pumping Skrillex over the pool so nobody can pinpoint the voice. Tonight the rules just change. Engineers in China have stopped trying to hide their aircraft, they're making the water itself impossible to read. Their trick is called frequency diverse arrays, and it turns every clean radar note into a cocktail party cacophony. So tangled that even the sharpest receiver can't tell who's talking, or whether anyone's talking at all. The cat and mouse we thought we knew. Quick refresher. Classic radar is a lighthouse on caffeine. Spin, pulse, listen. Bounce comes back, you clock the delay, and bingo. Target at 43 miles, 31 grand. Stealth dodges by shaping surfaces that refuse to bounce straight back, or wraps the plane in paint that drinks the energy. Old school jamming? That's just cranking the volume to 11. Loud, brash but still a shouting match with rules. Duck, hide, or shout louder. Enter the electromagnetic fog. China's new hack throws the rulebook into a blender. Picture the same aircraft, but now it's wearing thousands of tiny flashlights, each one flickering at a slightly different color, every millisecond. One antenna hums at 9.995 gigahertz, its neighbor at 9.997 gigahertz, another at 9.993 gigahertz, all jittering like a mariachi band on espresso. The combined wavefront doesn't echo, it ricochets. By the time it reaches an enemy receiver it looks like static from the Big Bang. Peaks where valleys should be, valleys where peaks should be, and the pattern reshuffles every heartbeat. Algorithms trained on tidy echoes shrug and give up. The radar still gets a return, statistically, it's just cosmic background with attitude. From theory to KJ-3000. Meet the KJ-3000, China's newest eye in the sky, built on the burly shoulders of a Xi'an Y-20. From the outside it's a grey cargo bird wearing a frisbee for a hat. Inside that frisbee, though, is a phased array whose transmitters never sing the same note twice. When it loiters over the South China Sea, it isn't just watching. It's knitting a 20-mile bubble of pure digital static. Try to lock it with an anti-radiation missile, or triangulate its signal from two distant posts, and the bearing error is measured in kilometers, not meters. If the map says the radar is everywhere and nowhere, the missile can't pick a front door to knock on. Why this is not, just another jammer. Okay, you say, jamming's been around since disco. Fair point. Regular jammers are like the guy who walks into a meeting and yells so nobody else can talk. Works, but everyone knows where the screamer's standing. Frequency diverse arrays don't scream. They murmur a thousand different lullabies until the listener questions reality itself. The enemy still receives a signal, it's just useless. A normal jammer signs its work with a neon arrow. An FDA platform never signs anything. You can't shoot what you can't even swear exists. The drone pairs and the storm eye. Engineers never stop at one party trick. Enter storm eye, the side project straight out of a spy novel. Two drones fly wingtip to wingtip. Drone A paints the sky with sculpted noise, drone B broadcasts the exact inverse. Between them, they carve a silent pocket where friendly pilots can chat on open comms without anyone snooping. Step outside the pocket and you're back in the FDA fog. It's like noise-canceling headphones for an airwing, except the silence is a trap for everyone who forgot their set. What this does to the balance of power. Zoom out to the big chessboard. A US carrier group glides west of Guam. Its shield is an Aegis cruiser, its eyes an E-2D Hawkeye. 400 miles away, a lone KJ-3000 is orbiting, sprinkling chaos like confetti. The Hawkeye's screens look fine maybe a bit fuzzier than yesterday, shrugged off as sunspots. Then the radar tries to paint AJ-20. The return is buried in the same static. The fighter pops up 10 miles closer than expected and accelerating. 
Orders from the carrier arrive garbled, late, or not at all. By the time the skipper realizes the sunspot is actually engineered fog, the warhead is already terminal. The next war might be quiet. Here's the kicker. The next big naval clash might not open with afterburners or missile flashes. It could start with the spectrum getting smeared like a chalk drawing in the rain. Pilots keep flying, radar techs keep staring at screens, but the data they trust has the reliability of a fortune cookie written by drunk toddlers. The weapon that changes everything might never show up on a damage report, its signature is absence. Absence of tracks, absence of chatter, absence of certainty. Clear radio days are winding down. Frequency diverse arrays aren't lab daydreams. They're real hardware bolted to a turboprop above the Pacific tonight. If the trend holds, future wars won't be won by the fastest jet, but by whoever keeps the other side blinking in the dark. Want to stay ahead of the blackout? Hit subscribe. Next episode dives into the American comeback, and yes, it involves lasers that stitch themselves back together. Think undetectable radar fog is a sneaky genius move or a dirty trick? Drop your take below, and if this was your first wait, that's possible? Moment. Tap like, because in the invisible fight for the spectrum, the only clean signal left is the one between your ears.